Okay, so that sucks. I accidentally pressed the stop button instead of the uh, uh, pause button uh, to play it back. So I lost my whole first half. But ooh! Ah! This is the shit I'm talking about. I have to deal with this while I'm trying to do schoolwork for my kids. Logging them in. Trying to do their passcodes because I'm the fucking learning coach and shit. And wow. And um, this, this, uh, I'm so fucking frustrated. And wow, my, wow, my, wow, uh -huh. I, wow, I've been, um, I'm trying to eat oatmeal. It, I'm having a hard time doing that. Ooh, I can't even drink stuff without having, uh, going through these stupid ticks and, hey, fuck off. Woo! Uh, Fuck off! Don't touch me! Fuck off! Mom! Get away! Ahem! Don't! Ah! I'm literally by myself. Don't! Ah! Ah! Stop! Stop! Ahem! Wow! Wow! Um. Ahem! I'm, I'm dealing with like a complete misfiring on my fucking brain right now. Um, it's wow, it's 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 wow. Yesterday was happening the same thing, a lot of ticks were happening all at the same time. And wow, fuck off, um, wow, that's the suck a dick dot com. Wow, fuck off, Oof. you bitch, Oof. Oof. don't touch me, don't touch me. I had to, wow, don't touch me. Uh, I'm literally by myself, don't touch me. Wow, 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 I can't. Oh, it's it's all going off at one time. I can't I can't even wow, I can't even focus on my camera in front of me. Uh, 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 bitch, what punk bitch? Wow, punk bitch. Wow. Uh, oh well. Uh, toodles, uh, bitch. Wow. Um. You could understand why I'm trying to videotape this. Bitch, bitch, punk, bitch. Fuck off. Wow, 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 bitch. Fuck off, punk, bitch. Get off of me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Wow. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off, punk, bitch. I'm so sorry. I have to record this because this shit's crazy. Fuck off, punk bitch. I'm so sorry. Um, I'm so sorry. I'm, I really can't control anything that's happening. It's, it's, ah, fuck off, punk bitch. Ooh. See the mission I have to go through just to take one fucking go. Fuck off. Bitch. Whoa. Whoa. Punk bitch. Punk bitch. Punk 
bitch. But, 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 I'm, I'm recording, so. And, well, I'm letting you know. Whoa! Because, whoa! Because, whoa! Because I can't control these. Whoa! Well, I had to capture it because they're fucking getting weird. <sighs> Do you need something? <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> That was my daughter. <coughs> the oldest one. <coughs> this, <coughs> this is a new <coughs> This is a new one. <coughs> this started yesterday. <coughs> like <coughs> in the middle of the night. <coughs> like at three or four o'clock. <coughs> three or four o'clock in the morning. control this oh i need uh oh i need oh i'm gonna get my emergency inhaler <laughs> give me one second i'm gonna pause right here oh i got my oh i got my oh i'm sorry So these are my emergency things. <coughs> Sorry it affects my throat. <coughs> I pitch noise. <coughs> when I think oh, when everything's finally calm. <coughs> um I use an instant inhaler for my muni. Sorry. <coughs> <clears throat> I'm sorry guys. I'm trying the best I can. <coughs> Jesus Christ. <coughs> Hello? Hello? I'm I feel like I was losing my voice completely. <coughs> wow. Um I'm gonna pull this.
this on real quick so you guys can see it. <clears throat> Get a little close above it, hopefully. Um, I'll be able to... This is MUV. It's a... <clears throat> it's their pure THC um, instant emergency inhaler. <clears throat> and basically... <clears throat> Whenever I'm having a really bad attack, like just now that you saw it, like, it was affecting my breathing and my talking. <clears throat> I use an instant inhaler. A little drawback about it is it does affect your throat a little bit. <clears> throat> it makes everything compressed. <laughs> um, but it, it helps so much to like just stop it in its tracks. <sighs> um, I'm going to take a little bit of my RSO. <clears throat> tincture but I hope this will keep me calm that's where I don't have any more attacks once again it doesn't make my ticks go away but it helps to control them a little bit and it helps to uh, uh, <clears throat> it, it helps to um, give me a little bit more control um because at least it's not overtaking my mind and my body. And, and some, see like that snap, that's a tick, but it won't be so overwhelming. I'm sorry, Denise. <sighs> Lavender essential oil helps me out a lot. I find it, it's more calming than doing a blended mix. <clears throat> Blended mixes help, but this almost stops it instantly as I'm inhaling it. It, it just takes like almost a few seconds, but it reacts really fast with me. And the same thing with the instant inhaler to stop the attacks. It really does help, but you, you have to know how to use it. You got to hold it in. You got to hold it in for at least a few seconds before you kind of let your breath out. <clears throat> sorry it's probably really hard to hear me right now and i'm gonna try to talk as loud as i can <clears throat> but that really messed me up all that stuff that was happening with my throat it was a brand new take that i've never had before it did start around three o'clock in the morning <clears throat> early this morning was the first time i've ever experienced that particular type of tick this is why I want to record myself as much as possible when it is happening if I can get to my phone if it calms down enough so I can try to capture it but it's <clears throat> it's so difficult to um oh there it goes my voice is coming back <laughs> it's so difficult to um to try to videotape yourself while you're in the middle of an attack and it's like you have to try to grasp that one moment of your brain where it's like oh my god re record this record this quickly before it stops you know because every tick that i've been experiencing that i've been dealing with um <clears throat> have been evolving and changing and progressing and um like before i, I never had like those big spacey out moments and they started happening i would say in this within this past month um but before that it, that wasn't happening like that you know much and <clears throat> now my uh takes are just they're kind of like taking on a life of their own a little bit and they're like changing evolving and um i have noticed that i i mimic a lot um but i've been doing that probably all my entire life ever since i was real little i've, I've always mimicked things but now it's like it's mimicking a lot like i could <clears throat> be at the register at my dispensary just trying to check out and somebody could be having a completely different conversation with another um bud tender dispensary um <clears throat> pharmacist and basically what would happen is I, I you know of course it's you're right next to the person so you could hear what their conversation is rule of thumb you know don't interject yourself into um 
into somebody else's conversation because one it's rude um two you weren't invited and and three you know it's just it's rude uh, i'm sorry i'm going back to one again but it's it's rude um so and i wouldn't want anybody to interject them into my conversation you know um haha <laughs> unless it was like a way that they could help me or benefit me in a way you know that um is germane to that conversation so it's wow um woohoo it's uh, um I will literally repeat what the next person next to me is saying um, if they're trying to figure something out. And, you know, as a general thing, all people will go ahead and be like, oh, my God, I feel so stupid. It's just a term of expression. But like um, this person said, um, oh, my God, I thought I was going crazy. This is the word that she used. And the first thing as I'm having a conversation with somebody else I have to jump in and just start saying you're crazy you're crazy to this complete stranger and and out in between every word of you're crazy I'm literally apologizing because I at that one little second it's like I have that split second to tell somebody I'm, I'm apologizing for what I'm doing because at that one little split second it's me again but then, bam, my ticks kick in and it's like this whole other childlike personality takes over. Um, and we all know that children can be cruel. Overly honest. And um, they can just tend to point things out that, you know, we as adults become and say, you know, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. Well, my childhood version of me just doesn't give a shit. And like, um, she's trying to break out <clears throat> and it's very uncomfortable and it's really hard to be able to be a parent, try to have people to take you seriously, um, while trying to have a conversation and you're basically winking at them the entire time or saying woo or making some type of weird noises or, you know, high pitched sounds that generally would come like out of a child. My conversations over the phone with general administrators, doctors, will tend to start off very nice, normal. Hey, how are you doing? I needed to make an appointment or I'm verifying paperwork or I'm making sure that you guys are transferring paperwork and everybody's on the same page, you know. And then as I go progressing and talking to this person, out of nowhere, I'll start to feel my little tics coming up. But sometimes I don't even feel them coming on. It'll just kind of, it'll pop like that. And it doesn't have much of anything going on with it, but I'm here continuing and it's like, now on my side of the conversation, they can't see me because I'm over the phone, but I'm getting tense and my neck is going up and my head's starting to wiggle. And I already feel that the um, increased tensing happening in my shoulders and my body wanting to move. My legs will start to shake. Um, like in some of my videos, you'll see me start off really calm, very still. And then out of nowhere, you'll notice like I'm shaking a little bit. That's because I'm shaking my legs and I can't stop shaking them. Like literally, they'll just be like just moving back and forth to shaking and and it's 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 always been something that i've used almost like a, a common comfort it's just something that i'm been used to my entire life and um but it starts off like that and that's the beginning of my nervous tendency my legs start to shake um then it starts to build up and then it kind of works its way up there um sometimes it, it won't even start like that sometimes it'll just start with me twitching or my head bobbing you know it, it's crazy and it's it really I'm trying to control my voice. Sorry. <laughs> um, uh, try to control my emotional state because it does. It, um, it's so challenging to try to be mom, log in your kids to school, do their stuff, be on top of everything of them. And on top of that, stay on top of their health care. But then, you know, you lose yourself and your own personal care for yourself, you know, over a period of time. And that's basically what happened to me. Um, you know, I get engulfed with my, my kids and my family and making sure that everything's okay with them because they have so much going on that I tend to forget to care for myself, take my multivitamins, you know, do the things that I need to do to make me feel better. And I always leave myself for the last, um, you know, to be cared for, for the day. And, um, I don't know if that's what's taking a toll on me now and that, you know, it's adding into my ticks or, or whatnot, but... 
um, now I'm putting all this attention to myself and it's still not making anything any better. I'm taking all these multivitamins. I'm taking everything my doctors tell me to take. I'm taking Benadryl. I'm still, you know, taking my medical marijuana um, and keeping up with my prescriptions and my health care card. And it's, it's, it's just so much you know, and there's just some days where I just, I want to be present for my kids. I want to be present for their needs and their questions. And it's like, it's like somebody taking over your mind. And, um, and I, you can't even concentrate on what's important anymore. You know, you can't focus on anything. There's just a complete lack of just you and your mind being present where it needs to be. Um, because it kind of feels like some days, you know, my mind is still there, but it's almost like fighting side by side with this childlike version of me in my head. Um, and, and even when, you know, moments with my husband, as you saw in some previous videos, um, he does trigger me with certain things. Cause I, I, I love my husband and, um, you know, I've, I've always found him very, very attractive. Um, you know, and that has always been a, an extremely strong bond that we have with each other that we, you know, find each other attractive. But, um, but when it becomes an issue to your mind, uh, <laughs> to be able to, um, just be next to the one that you love and and just you know you could like chill and calm down and relax well for me it's more like little girl Jeanette from childhood pops out and she decides to go all stupid boy crazy um you know oh my god he's so cute he's so cute oh my god I'm so shy oh you know that's what happens to me around my husband my husband, the man who I've been married to for over, what, we're now into 2021. We've been married for over 21 years. Um, we've been together for a little bit or over that. So <laughs> you can imagine how I feel when I tell you it's like meeting for the first time the cutest person you've ever seen. And just completely falling head over heels for them. And then to top it off, there's that, that giggly, energetic, kind of tickly feeling inside the pit of your stomach that, that comes out. And you feel like you're overwhelmed just by even being around that person or even looking at them like too closely. Because then you just kind of find yourself almost falling into a pool of just like them <laughs> well that's what's happening every time I look at my husband or I start to feel that heightened attractive feeling for him um childhood version of me comes out and starts giggling literally <laughs> giggling like straight up oh my god <laughs> he's, he's so cute kind of <laughs> that kind of giggling it is the worst feeling because then nobody want to show that to anybody. Sorry. I'm going a little ghetto here, but nobody wants to see that. Nobody wants to see that childhood version of themselves come out and start giggling and acting all goofy and shit because that's exactly what's happening to me. I'm giggling. I'm acting all goofy and shit. And then, you know, it's hard. I'm sure that he loves it because he's getting all that attention. I'm not supposed to show him that he's supposed to have. You know what I mean? I need to keep my side a little strong. To show him, you know, it's like, yeah, you good looking and all that, but don't think you all that because, you know, whatever. It's it's to maintain the, the level of your head, you know, not to be over, you know, getting a big ass head. Right now, my husband has the biggest fucking head in the world. <laughs> and it, it's blowing up because of my tics. And I can't control myself. I can't control how I react around him, how I'm responding. And it's... um. Fuck, it's challenging, man. It's so challenging. <sighs> right now, this is my personal therapy session. I'm literally just venting. <laughs> because I've been dealing with these crazy ass ticks. These are tick attacks. These, you know, ever-changing, evolving things that are happening to me, my brain. And I'm like so over it right now. I'm so tired. 
and I'm exhausted and I'm just I I don't know what else to do I really don't I've, I've gone to my doctors trying to be really patient waiting for that appointment to come in so I could find out what my EEG has you know what's going on in my brain and then from there also what's the doctor going to do about it what's he going to give me what's the treatment going to be there's so many questions and I just I wanted to fast forward already just so I can be past this part of you know what I'm going through because it leaves me stuck it leaves me stunted sometimes it leaves me to the point where it's like I can't do anything I just have to lay in bed and hold on to a pillow as tightly as possible because that's the only way I'll feel better, you know, or laying my head on a pack of ice because it'll actually cool me down. And then it's enough to, like, make me feel calm to the point where I want to go to sleep. You know, it's just it sucks. It really does. I wish I would know already what this is or what I've been going through my entire life.